they decided that we were uh, becoming too successful and they decided to block our ability to capture the benefits of our rights. 2023 has been the year of AI. Starting with the release of ChatGPT, the world has been caught in a storm of groundbreaking innovations by software companies such as OpenAI, Google, Meta, and Midjourney. AI. 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 Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the hottest topic in the tech world right now. While it's easy to understand why the media has focused on the companies writing the code powering the AI revolution, the real bottleneck in the machine learning industry is the hardware that these neural networks are trained on. And this has made one company very, very important. NVIDIA! NVIDIA! NVIDIA was part of an elite club of US companies worth a trillion dollars. The graphics cards NVIDIA makes used to be thought of as nothing more than a tool for gamers. They're considered so crucial to national security that Congress is actually implementing export bans of the most advanced GPUs to China. The Biden administration is considering imposing new and harsher restrictions on exports of AI chips to the country. Today, we'll learn about how a previously unassuming company, started in a San Jose Denny's, known only to gamers for decades, became a trillion dollar empire that the world's most advanced corporations rely on. Right now, NVIDIA is the king of AI hardware, but the question remains, how long can it keep its crown? After all, success is a slippery peak, tough to reach and tougher to hold. I have a lot to tell you, very little time, so let's get going. NVIDIA, a name that would come to be synonymous with graphics processing units, was born in the heart of Silicon Valley, in Santa Clara, California, in 1993. It was founded by three electrical engineers, Jensen Huang, Chris Malakowski, and Curtis Preen. The three men shared a common vision for seeing the essential role of graphics computing in technology's future. Huang, a tech enthusiast from an early age, served as NVIDIA's president and CEO right from the outset while Preen, an industry veteran from Sun Microsystems became the company's chief technical officer. Malakowski, another Sun Microsystems alumnus, with a rich background in chip design, contributed vital engineering expertise to the fledgling company. The original mission of NVIDIA was ambitious yet precise, to push the boundaries of visual computing. From the get-go, NVIDIA positioned itself as more than just a chip maker. It aimed to be a technological vanguard, spearheading the development of GPUs, which would enable more realistic and complex visual experiences on computers. This mission was put into action with the introduction of their early products, most notably, the Reva series of multimedia accelerators, which gained a strong foothold in the market in the late 90s. But it was in 1999, with the launch of the GeForce 256, that NVIDIA truly revolutionized the world of computer graphics. The GeForce 256 was hailed as the world's first GPU, a term NVIDIA itself coined. This product integrated transform, lighting, triangle setup, clipping, and rendering into a single processor for the first time. By placing these complex tasks on the GPU, NVIDIA freed the central processing unit to manage other tasks, thus significantly boosting the overall performance of the computer. With this groundbreaking invention, NVIDIA firmly established itself as a pioneer in the world of visual computing, a position it has maintained and fortified over the years. In the evolving tech landscape, NVIDIA's original expertise in creating powerful GPUs had an unexpected but fortunate relevance. Artificial intelligence, AI. The computational demands of AI, particularly deep learning, a subset of machine learning that mimics the neural networks of the human brain, proved to be a perfect match for the parallel processing capabilities of NVIDIA's GPUs. But how did NVIDIA, originally focused on enhancing computer graphics, end up at the forefront of the AI revolution? The pivot wasn't accidental, but a result of foresight and strategic decision-making. Jensen Huang, the CEO, has often emphasized that NVIDIA's foray into AI was part of a long-term strategy. Seeing the potential of AI and deep learning in the early 2010s, NVIDIA began directing more resources toward adapting their GPU technology to better serve these applications. They realized that the data-heavy, iterative computations required for training AI models were similar to the mathematical calculations in 3D graphics rendering. 
an area where GPUs excel. In 2012, NVIDIA made its first major move into the AI field by introducing CUDA, a parallel computing platform and API model that allowed software developers to use NVIDIA GPUs for general purpose processing, opening the door to AI and other high-performance computing applications. The inherent strength of GPUs lies in their ability to handle many tasks at the same time or parallel processing. They were designed this way to quickly render graphics, a process that involves breaking down an image into thousands or millions of pixels, each processed simultaneously. This parallel processing structure was a perfect match for the similarly parallel nature of AI computations. In machine learning, for instance, large amounts of data must be processed at once, and individual units of data don't depend on others. This made the parallel architecture of GPUs ideal for running these calculations efficiently and quickly. When NVIDIA recognized the potential of their GPUs for AI, they took it a step further, developing dedicated AI hardware products that pushed the boundaries of what was possible in the realm of AI computations. The Tesla, Quadro and Titan lines, each designed for specific use cases, are testament to NVIDIA's commitment to revolutionizing AI. The Tesla product line, named in honor of the renowned inventor Nikola Tesla, was aimed squarely at the high-performance computing, HPC, and AI market. These GPUs provided extreme parallel processing power, designed to handle the most demanding computational tasks. From scientific simulations to AI model training and inference, the Tesla GPUs helped research institutions and businesses perform tasks faster and more efficiently than ever before. Similarly, the Quadro line targeted professional workstations and was engineered for a range of professional applications like CAD, CGI and DCC. These GPUs were designed to accelerate design and rendering tasks, allowing professionals to create complex 3D models and lifelike virtual environments with unprecedented detail and realism. Meanwhile, the Titan GPUs, built for the ultimate PC gaming experience, were also embraced by AI researchers and enthusiasts due to their computational prowess. Yet the hardware was only half the story. On the software front, NVIDIA's CUDA platform truly unleashed the power of their GPUs for AI. CUDA, standing for Compute Unified Device Architecture, was a parallel computing platform and programming model that allowed developers to use NVIDIA's GPUs for general computing tasks. By giving developers direct access to the virtual instruction set and memory of the parallel computational elements in GPUs, CUDA opened a world of possibilities. Complex calculations that would take hours or days on traditional CPUs could be completed in minutes or seconds. NVIDIA's advancement in AI capabilities was not an isolated endeavor, but rather the result of numerous strategic partnerships with major tech companies and research institutions. These collaborations allowed NVIDIA to leverage its hardware and software technologies in various fields, simultaneously expanding its own technological horizons and driving the broader development of AI. One of the most prominent collaborations in NVIDIA's AI journey has been with tech giant Google. In 2018, Google's TensorFlow, an open source machine learning framework, announced that it would integrate with NVIDIA's GPUs, specifically using the CUDA Deep Neural Network Library, SUDNN, to accelerate its deep learning capabilities. This collaboration led to a considerable speed-up in AI applications, from image and speech recognition to predicting complex patterns in data. On the academic front, NVIDIA's ties with leading research institutions have been vital in fostering AI innovation. Through the NVIDIA AI Labs NVAL program, the company partners with universities and research institutes around the world, providing them with the latest GPU hardware, funding and technical expertise. These collaborations have enabled groundbreaking research in various AI fields, from machine learning to computer vision and natural language processing. Even ChatGPT runs on specialized hardware that is designed for high-performance computing and artificial intelligence workloads designed by NVIDIA. The main component of this hardware is the NVIDIA A100 HPC Accelerator, which is a tensor core GPU that can deliver up to two terabytes per second memory bandwidth and run very large models and datasets. GPT also uses Microsoft's AI supercomputer infrastructure, which is built on Azure and leverages technologies such as Project Forge, LoRa, and confidential computing. Microsoft has invested hundreds of millions of dollars in hardware to train ChatGPT and other large language models, 
NVIDIA's influence extends to the open source community as well. Recognizing the importance of collaborative development and the democratization of AI technology, tools like TensorRT, a high-performance deep learning inference optimizer and runtime library, have been open sourced by NVIDIA, facilitating improved performance and reduced deployment costs for deep learning models. Furthermore, NVIDIA has consistently been an active participant in open source forums, contributing code, providing support, and working collaboratively with other members of the community. This two-way interaction has not only fostered the development of better, more robust open source tools, but also informed NVIDIA's own product development, influenced by the needs and feedback of the community. In gaming, NVIDIA's innovations have enabled a quantum leap in visual quality and performance. The company's cutting-edge GPUs and software technologies have not only improved game graphics, but also integrated AI into games. Real-time ray tracing, a rendering technique that simulates real-world lighting and reflection behaviors, became feasible on consumer-grade hardware with the introduction of NVIDIA's RTX series. Moreover, the company's deep learning supersampling, DLSS, uses AI to upscale lower resolution images in real time, resulting in sharper images with less computational load. NVIDIA's AI prowess also extends to the realm of self-driving cars. The company's drive platform combines AI, high-performance computing and visual computing to enable autonomous vehicles. It powers everything from sensor fusion to path planning, facilitating the real-time processing required for cars to perceive their environment and make safe decisions. This has placed NVIDIA at the forefront of the autonomous vehicle revolution. In essence, NVIDIA's dominance in AI has permeated every corner of the tech industry, impacting not just the hardware and software landscape, but also shaping the evolution of technology itself. NVIDIA's innovative use of AI extends beyond gaming and technology into various initiatives for the broader societal good. From healthcare to climate science, NVIDIA has leveraged their AI capabilities to address some of the most pressing challenges of our time. In healthcare, NVIDIA's AI has been instrumental in advancing medical research and improving patient care. The company's Clara platform, for instance, is a healthcare-specific application framework that allows researchers and clinicians to develop and deploy AI in medical imaging, genomics, and patient monitoring. This has led to earlier and more accurate diagnoses, personalized treatment plans, and even drug discovery. NVIDIA has also collaborated with numerous healthcare organizations and research institutions, accelerating their work in areas ranging from cancer research to neurodegenerative diseases. In the sphere of climate science, NVIDIA's AI has been used to accelerate climate modeling and simulation, providing scientists with crucial insights into the impacts of climate change. High-resolution climate models require immense computational power, and NVIDIA's GPUs have proven integral to these efforts. For example, the company has partnered with the National Center for Atmospheric Research, NCR, to develop more precise and comprehensive models of the Earth's climate. These models allow researchers to better understand and predict the effects of climate change, informing policy decisions and mitigation strategies. As a titan in the realm of AI and GPUs, NVIDIA inevitably faces challenges, competitors and potential pitfalls. Its position at the pinnacle of the industry is both a testament to its accomplishments and an invitation for intense competition and scrutiny. Prominent among NVIDIA's challenges is robust competition from other technology heavyweights. Companies such as AMD and Intel, long-standing rivals in the chip industry, are vying for a slice of the GPU and AI markets. AMD, with its competitive Radeon line of GPUs, and Intel, breaking into the market with its own range of high-performance GPUs and AI chips, represent formidable challenges to NVIDIA's dominance. Moreover, companies like Google, Microsoft, and Apple are developing their own AI-specific chips, threatening to bypass NVIDIA's products entirely. Regulatory obstacles also pose significant hurdles for NVIDIA. For instance, the company's highly publicized attempt to acquire ARM, a leading semiconductor and software design company, was thwarted by global regulatory bodies due to antitrust concerns. The failed acquisition represents a notable setback for NVIDIA's strategic plans, thwarting their bid to significantly boost their standing in the broader chip market. An additional challenge facing NVIDIA is its dependence on a single key supplier. 
Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. TSMC is the world's largest dedicated independent semiconductor foundry and is responsible for manufacturing a significant portion of NVIDIA's chips. This reliance on TSMC exposes NVIDIA to a multitude of potential risks. For instance, any disruptions to TSMC's operations, whether due to natural disasters, geopolitical tensions or manufacturing issues, could severely impact NVIDIA's supply chain. This became particularly evident during the global chip shortage sparked by the COVID-19 pandemic, where the demand for semiconductors vastly outstripped the supply, leading to delays and increased costs. Moreover, TSMC's location in Taiwan presents geopolitical risks. Tensions in the Taiwan Strait, particularly concerning China's claims over Taiwan, could jeopardize TSMC's operations and, by extension, NVIDIA's supply chain. Additionally, TSMC's client list includes several of NVIDIA's competitors, making the relationship even more complex. To mitigate these risks, NVIDIA would need to consider diversifying its supply chain, possibly by engaging with multiple foundries or investing in its own manufacturing capabilities. However, such steps are costly and time-consuming, presenting another set of challenges. Looking ahead, NVIDIA's continued success hinges on its ability to anticipate and adapt to these multifaceted challenges. The company will need to continue its trajectory of innovation, maintain a competitive edge, navigate regulatory hurdles, and strategically diversify its offerings. The landscape of technology is both tumultuous and exciting, and NVIDIA, a name synonymous with both envy and admiration, must continue to prove that it can maintain its position at the forefront of the industry. This has been another episode of Meridian Mindset. The AI race has just been getting started and we plan to publish more videos on this subject, so please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you like the video at all, please make sure to also hit the like button and leave a comment below. The engagement helps us out with getting YouTube to show our videos to more people. Until next time.